Are you okay? Maybe you should eat something. You'll feel better. The sun. Now oh, that's very serious. <laughs> <laughs> What do you expect? You know he soaks up drugs like a sponge. Yeah, that baby powder he was doing sure has a mean kick to it. Oh, it'll wear off. Now what's he doing?
Larry. Crooked, I thought I told you to quit bugging me. But there's this new girl who wants to meet you, and she's real good looking. Crooked, I got all the lovely ladies I can handle. That one. And she's something else. You want. Well, she said, I quote, some decent action and some great you-know-what. Girls, got to take care of something. We'll be back. You know, Larry, I do you some pretty big favors, don't I? I mean, a guy like me who helps you out would be a pretty valuable business associate, don't you think? That's what I think you got a gift to get. You got a get to give, right? Let's take a walk. Think? That's what I'm taking. Oh, well, Larry, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is... Mary Ann Lovett. Right. But you can call me Lovely. Lovely? Lovely? Would you like to go on a tour with Captain Matt? If you can provide the ticket. I got it all, baby. Welcome to Captain Magic's castle. Businesses. I got plenty of cash to fix a place up like this. Does your mother know you have this set up here? Max, your baby, the lush. He's usually so drunk. But she doesn't know if she has a son. Now it's time for Captain Magic to show you how he got his name. You don't give a girl much room to maneuver, do you? Right. Captain Magic likes his own sister with a lot, a lot of action. Well, then Captain Magic has the right girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought I told that, that little cricket guy to set you straight. Huh? I didn't come here just to run around. Do you know what I mean? Uh, okay, we'll do a little too. Got any rocket fuel? Elephant? No, gasoline in my car. And what's in it for me? All the action you can handle. Can't believe this really happened to me. Oh, wow, sexy and gorgeous junkie. And <laughs> Captain Magic's lucky day. Yeah. You take your ordinary garden variety parsley. You soak it overnight with some liquid angel. And presto. You sell that stuff to all the kids? To whoever pays. That's neat. Are you the only pusher in school? No. There's other kids. I take care of the younger kids. Specialize in junior highs. That's what I thought. You want to hear? No, but you do. Oh, can I give you a hand? Hey, that wasn't funny. You wanted a woman of action. Oh, I changed my mind. I just want a sweet young thing who's afraid of me. How would Captain Magic like a taste of his own medicine? No. Oh, please. Uh, I, I... Back home. Yeah. I used to rub the throat of an old possum, just like this, yeah. so he would take his medicine. Yeah.
Hello? Please? Hey, Sam. I'll see you at Truett in five minutes. Right, Clara. See you there. Okay. Hi, boy. Boy, do I have news for you guys. Oh, yeah? About Larry Burgess. He's a high school life. Mm -hmm. Not a good man, is he? Can't you imagine? Don't. He's dead. What? Hey, what are you all worked up about? You didn't even know the guy. How? But you told me he was the guy that sold the drugs to my little brother. So I keep thinking about him. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot. So what happened to Larry? Well, when the cops found him, they had to cart him off to the hospital. But how did he die? Did he OD? He hung himself in the hospital. Why? Bust, I guess. When the cops searched his room in the attic, they found everything. PCP, cocaine, the new stuff, everything. Oh, that's heavy. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Then we made it. and milk, please. Thank you. Are you Marianne Lovett? Yes, sir. Police Detective Jack Domini. I have been told you were seen at the school dance with the uh, late Larry Burgess. Larry Burgess? Yeah. Uh-huh. I might have met him. I don't remember. Well, according to a kid called Cricket, I think she left the dance with Burgess. Now, a girl tipped off the police about Burgess. You wouldn't be that girl now, would you? The police? Me? No, I don't think so. Come on, Johnny. Give her a break. Hey, Cricket's a garbage head. You know that. Somebody said he introduced her to Burgess. So she happened to meet the wrong people. She's new in the school. She doesn't know any better. Next time, you owe me one. Thanks. We go better find a table. Okay. Police think they can solve everything just by asking questions, right? So, you're Marianne Lovett. Lovely. What's lovely? My name. <laughs> lovely is my nickname. I like it better than loving anyway. It's not a very lucky name around here. How come? There was a kid in school named Arthur Lovett. He drowned. He strung out on drugs. I know. He was my kid brother, Arthur. Hey, I'm sorry. It's a stupid drug situation. I hate it, too. The trouble is, Dealers have gotten so caught. Like Larry Burgess? No. The people behind him. I think that's how he got killed. Didn't he commit suicide? They found him strangled, hanging by a necktie. They thought it was his. It wasn't? You ever seen a kid at Pacific Coast High wearing a tie? I guess not. I better go to class. Maybe we can get together sometime. Well, I'm kind of seeing someone. Well, how about just a talk? Why don't you come over to my Aunt May's house? Tomorrow. I'm staying there. Great. I'll tell you what. I'll come by later and get the directions, okay? Okay. <coughs> Lovely, dear. I wish you wouldn't do that with the hatchet. How else am I going to chop wood? Well, let me hire one of those gardener persons to do it. Don't be silly. One winter in Idaho, and you can chop rounds real easy. Watch this. Hi. Oh! Hi. 
<laughs> I heard some voices, so I came around the back. Aunt May, this is Steve Barringer. How do you do? Hello, Steve. Good heaven. Anything wrong out here, May? <laughs> no. Stop making such a big deal. And this is my father, Chet Lovett. Uh, Steve, I'm so glad that you stopped in on us. I've been begging lovely to have some of her friends over from school. Well, I just came over to talk. Well, I bet you children would like some cookies and milk, hmm? Okay. No, no, thank you. That's nice of you, though. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. I better go in and see if everybody's ready. You going somewhere? I'm taking my parents to the airport. They've been here since the funeral. I hope my dad didn't get to you. You look like you wanted to deck me. It's just that he's so angry about what happened to my brother. He just wants to tear into somebody. Probably would have if he hadn't been injured. What happened to him? Uh, a logging accident back home in Idaho. Well, I don't blame him for being angry. That's why my mom sent Arthur here to stay with my Aunt May. She didn't want the same thing to happen to him, you know, becoming a logger and then being tossed aside. Hey, let me take them to the airport. I'd like that. Mom? This is Steve Berenger from my school. How do you do, Mrs. Lovett? No, Mom. It's Steve Barringer from my school. He's going to take you and Dad to the airport. I'll wait for you in the car. Frank, strictly off the record, of course. What do you think about this drug problem in the schools? It's a national epidemic. And a socially acceptable one. It's a farce. I don't see any difference between drugs and alcohol. Neither one is any good for you. Let's just be grateful that drugs are still illegal. Dad, there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Aunt May said you were going to meet me at the tennis court. Your Aunt May gets her signals across. Lovely, this is Franklin Van Dyke. He's the superintendent of the Pacific Coast School System. And he's an old family friend. Hi. Pleasure. So you're a school official. No wonder you got such a good grade. Oh, this kid couldn't get away with favoritism even if he wanted to. His father was a very disciplined man. He insisted that his son follow his example. I'm sure his dad would be very proud of him, especially since he took over the shipping line. Look, let's just drop this, all right? Well, I better be running off anyway. Uh, vandalism at the school, very depressing. Seems like I'm the one who has to handle it. Well, very nice meeting you, lovely. Goodbye, Mr. Van Dyke. Bye, and uh, give me a ring at the school, and we'll pick up where we left off. Bye-bye. I'm sorry I upset you about your dad. Right, but I guess I've put it all behind me now, anyway. Then what is it? The work. The responsibility. Try running a shipping line while you're in college. And all I really want to do is my music. I know. And you will. Hey, I've got some great news for you. What? Well, they're letting me promote my music at your school. No kidding. Yeah. Think you can drum me up some support from the kids? That'd be a big help. You got it. Come <laughs> on. 
was an honor student, one of our many burnouts. So? I said no. <clears throat> what? I said no. offer that that burnout kid was talking about? Some spending money in return for closed minds for drug situation. You did the right thing. I hope so. Manus Managian, one of the biggest dealers in school, has got girlfriends exchanging sexual favors for some good highs. <sighs> Have you ever done drugs? I sure did. And believe me, I got the scars to prove it. Uh oh, that looks like trouble. Come on. There's a door back there. Come on. Take that side. Damn it! Watch! We're trapped! Yeah. 
So, you're always around when there's trouble, Mary Ann Lovely. So are you. Yeah, but I'm trying to do something about it. I want to help. Other kids can help, too. That's just what I need, a bunch of teenage vigilantes hanging around my jail. I'm serious. So am I. Now you let me take care of this my way. Just answer my questions like a good girl. Let me give you some real information, then. Anytime. Just before he was attacked, Steve told me the name of, of, of the biggest dealer in school, a guy named Mantis Manasian. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you take your job so seriously. I brought Manus Manasian in. A lot of good it did you. He's a football star. He was out of jail before the cherry was sitting on got warm. What did you do, forget to read him his rights? No, somebody forgot to read me my rights. Thou shalt not touch the football team. It's a new commandment. The school board would rather see these kids walk in zombies than lose a game to Ocean View High. Two kids are dead. A boy has just been attacked. And he might die. And you're not going to do anything about it. There's nothing to be done that we aren't already doing. That's just not enough. <laughs> okay, lad, you partner. You know what you gotta do? Do it. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. Let's warm up. Susie, I need a favor. Yeah, what? I want to meet Mantis and Asian. No, you don't. I have to. Look, he's one of the biggest dealers in school. Leave him alone. It's not a social thing. I think he might know something about what happened to Steve. Steve is my friend, too. And I'm sorry about your brother. But I don't want to get involved with the drug scene. I see. You stay here. If you just ignore the situation, it'll go away. Okay? That was not it. Because if more people like you did get involved and had the guts to say what they think, Arthur might want to die. I think you're stretching the point a little. Aren't you? Aren't you? Am I? go out with Mantis Manasian? Yes. Until Gloria snatched him away. She's 
still know him well enough to introduce me to him? What for? I hear he has some really good stuff. Well, I might keep getting one or two. Sure. Man, it isn't just blowing a little weed or making out in the parking lot. Well, that's boring anyway. You gotta like doing it, don't be gone. Mature men have more sophisticated tastes, don't they? Man, he's really good. In fact, I hope he likes you a whole lot. Oh, why is that, Gina? Oh, hi, Gloria. I like your hair. I thought I told you nobody gets this man here unless it's through me. I was going to talk to you about it, Gloria. Really, honest. Oh, I'll tell our friend here that she has to stay in line before she gets in line to meet me. Okay, okay Gloria, okay. I'm not through with you yet. Sid! Who wants to put this... The coach said, be sure to tell you. Will you tell the coach something? You tell him that I'm going to take a little time out until he comes over to apologize. Right away. And uh, you tell him you better get here quick. For the next time I'm in his biology class, I'm going to dissect him. Hit a little frog. And you got it, Mantis. Yes, you certainly 
really are. Okay, that's my name. How'd you know about the party? I don't think I had you here before. Mantis invited me. Ah, yes, the new cheerleader. Me? Well, you're in for a treat. Let me show you around. It is, isn't it? It's amazing what money can buy. It really is. This is an antique Steinway. Incredible sound. It cost me ten thousand when I bought it. Now it's worth sixty, maybe seventy thousand. No kidding. Yeah. Now I had to pay fifteen hundred down. It's like having a license to steal. Hey, lovely. Hi. How do you like my fine, Warren? Very much. In fact, uh, well enough to add her to my collection. Just yet, my man. You know I like to test the merchandise before I pass it around. What an ego. How would you like a tour of the house? Is this Warren's bedroom? There. I gave the chance to release some of that crazy energy. Pardon? All those panoplasts we've been feeling for each other. We met the other day. Oh, those. Mine has been really pent up. I know. But I'll take care of that. Yeah, you're gonna have a real good time here at the Pacific Coast. I hope so, anyway. Listen, kid. I hate to disappoint you, but, uh, I was just back here with Gloria fooling around, so... You're gonna have to wait a little while for me. Hope you can stand it. I'll just have to wait. I'll just have to. I hope you're not too disappointed. No, that's okay. I didn't have the heart to keep you in suspense any longer. I must feel a lot better knowing that your turn's coming up soon. I can hardly wait. I'll uh, introduce you to 
all the right. growing chain of bargain retail stores in the country. No kidding. I build her up from nothing. I can see how you do really well. Everybody likes a good, honest bargain. Well, you just stay on the good side and I'll give you a free introductory gift. No additional cost obligation, huh? Mr. Gil Martin, I'd love it if you'd help me fix my zipper. It's stuck and I can't seem to get the costume off or on. Oh. I'd really like to get the zipper fixed, so I can get it on. Well, honey, it'd be a real shame now if you couldn't get it on. century marble floor. Why is it covered with creamed herring? Never looked better. <laughs> Ask her. I didn't do anything. I was right here. I don't like this. It's wasteful. Go clean yourself up. new synthetic stuff is selling like hotcakes. I know. We're going to make a fortune with it. Yeah. I'll finally be able to pay my Porsche off. Mantis, if this continues, you'll be able to buy a roll. gave you a warning. What did I do? I was just standing here. Hey, be careful of that statue. He's Colombian and very expensive. Watch this! <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, no! Let me see. Hey! 
Watch it. Watch. Oh, no. Watch it. Watch, watch it. Like China. No. No, no, not the chopped liver. Damn, I'm gonna tell you, female mud wrestling was never this good. No way. <laughs> Everybody, that's it. Party's over. Go home now. Come on, out. Oh, oh now, out. Oh, 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 now, come on, Warren. Let the gals finish their fun. No, I like this. You bring her around tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Good night, Warren. You're responsible for both of them, my man. Hello. Oh, hi, it's Javelin. Oh, hello. How are you? And our little lovely is a divine cook. Yeah, could I speak to lovely, please? Hold on. Lovely, it's for you, dear. Telephone. Lovely. I have no idea where she's gone. I swear it's so difficult to keep track of people. Okay. 
Bye. This man just happens to be our main source. You know what I mean? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. You mess things up for me with Warren Lang. Don't do it with Gilmore. Here she is, Mr. Gilmartin. Howdy. I promise you'll enjoy this lovely afternoon. You like the ocean? I used to. Drank it. Uh, one of my vices. I'm much more interested in one of your other vices. Well, which vice is that? If you rub two brain cells together, then you figure it out. I wish you wouldn't feel as though you have to act this way. Lovely is uh, not your real name, is it? Mary Ann, but I hate it. I like it. There's an innocence about it. That's why I hate it. <laughs> I don't understand that about you young gals. You all deny your innocence. You all think I'm looking for sex, but I'm not. <laughs> then what are you looking for, drugs? Now, please, now, don't you go and get flippant with me, you hear? I'm just trying to open up for you. I'm sorry. I just thought that a big businessman like you would want me to act this way. You know, cool and together. That's not it at all. You know, all I'm looking for is love. Like you, uh, Teenagers have in the back of the car? I'm not quite sure I follow. Well, I don't want you to think you have to go farther with me than you would with any other boy. Huh? Okay. Yeah. That was pretty nice, wasn't it? And after a while, I may try to touch you. But you don't have to let me unless you really want it. And of course, we never walk away unless you really love me. Sorry, Mary. I, I guess I went too far, huh? I can't help it if you didn't get any in high school. Well, now, look, I, I promise I'll be more gentle the next time. You're giving me the creeps. I don't understand. Well, maybe this will make it clear for you. Yeah. All I wanted was love. Ah, love? How about head over heels? How about a little candy? Uh, this is more. Honey, you should notice. You want more, is that it? What I want, you can never give me. Shipment coming in tomorrow. You can have all you want. Shipment? Where? Don't worry. 
What do you want? You boys. Driver was helping me with my shell collection. Message is lost. Did she send him? Well, he delivered her. Now the point is, did he plan to take over on his own? Or did somebody else put him up to it? I don't like Warren Lang. He won't let me into his party. Maybe that's because he don't like your table manners. Huh? Oh, Warren Lang, loyal. You get him on the phone for me. Yeah, right now. You get him on that phone. Yes, Manchester, how come you're walking? You're gonna be late. I didn't have much choice. The jerk stole the tires off my car. Gotta climb aboard. So what is this? Uh, I didn't have any choice. I mean, they were gonna pull my teeth out with pliers. What's going on? Kiss me, boy. Do the others. I don't like mechanical things. I bumped my head, it really hurt. Maybe you should take an aspirin. I don't like to take drugs. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. You know, it's a real high for me, coming back to my old high school, playing my own music. So if you like it, pass the word around. And uh, maybe even call up the local radio station and get them to play my new tune, all right?
And that's not like her. Well, something's wrong. If you hear from her, let me know, all right? I'm Gamora. Want some? I'm on my way. I hope so. Then I can hear it on radio. <laughs> no, I really think it's great. I think... Keep going here. I don't like this. I've been looking for you. What do you want? You've been seeing a girl named Lovely, haven't you? Yeah. She's, uh... She's some kind of trouble. What kind of trouble? I think you'd better come with me. All right. I don't think you should go. I'll be okay. You want to come too? No, I, uh, I have to get back to Pacific Coast High. Look, I'll just give you a couple minutes to change. Make it quick.
Why don't you untie? He has nothing to do with it. Let him go. What are you doing here? If you wanted to see my shipyard, all you had to do was ask. They brought me here. She's just a friend. She doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, I think she does. The question is, uh, do you know what she's doing? You just be honest with good old Charlie, yeah? I haven't seen her for days. Well, now, you've been uh, going steady with her now for the last two, three summers, haven't you? Huh? Yeah? Come on, Javelin. He don't have to answer to these weasels. Oh, yes, he does. How do you think the drugs get here? By carrier pigeon? Makes him a bigger weasel than the rest of us, huh? Shut up, Gilmartin! You were the one who got Arthur all strung out? I had nothing to do with that. My own ship, you know. And if my ships aren't used to it, then somebody else's would. <laughs> Well, did you find her? I just saw something I think you should know about. Go on. You know Warren Lane, the commodities broker who we think might be a dealer? Okay. I saw him down at the docks with Honest Charlie Gilbarton and Javelin Scott, the kid who owns the shipping line. Oh, yeah. I think there's a drug connection. I think they've got Lovely down there. Sure they do. Hey, can't you at least go down there and check it out? You guys are giving me a headache. Well, I'm sorry. He I thought you might want to do something about this. Hey, well, what do you want me to do? We can't issue a warrant just because some high school kid thinks he saw something. That's ridiculous. Hey, what's wrong with her? Damn it, Dominique. Why don't you ever act on any hot tips? 
You always show up at the wrong time, the wrong place, and you start asking the wrong people. Now, for once, will you act in time to really help? I guess that's the shipment Jim Martin was talking about, huh? Something like that. Get in. What are you guys up to? This crate's being shipped to Taiwan. We thought you might like to go along for the ride. Don't worry. When we pack in a crate, we'll be sure to label it. Fragile. Handle with care. I'd rather you just shoot me. Oh, no, that would, uh, that would be messy. <laughs> I know you like messy. I don't. I have a last request. Who cares? One last girl before I die? What do you say? Okay. No, Gamora. It's out of the question. You can't say that to me. I just did. I'm in charge here. No. You never invite me into your parties. You never let me have any fun. Next party, I'll invite you in, okay? Too late. I don't like you by now. I won't come. Whatever. Let's just put her in a crate and get it over with. After I'm done. Another two minutes won't matter.
sure you were pushy. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna call the Harbor Patrol! Gamora. Gamora. Hey, Gamora. Damn, Gamora, where have you been? I found a shortcut. Well, let's go. Come on. But it's your problem. I better go back to Van Dyke. Oh! 
You better get down. Duck! Duck your head! Uh-huh. That's Honest Charlie. He's not so honest. He's the head of the whole drug ring around here. Oh, that's inside the dog. This is the Harbor Patrol. Everyone, stay where you are. This is the Harbor Patrol. Everyone, stay where you are. Come on. There are more weasels to catch. What about Charlie here? Just leave him to the Harbor Patrol. Hey! Richard, stay where you are! Stay where you are! Why do they do this? Why? Frank, your office said I'd find you here. What was that disgraceful business with Warren Lane at the country club? It got lovely. Now, how about it? She doesn't know about me, does she? I didn't do anything. A little money exchanged hands, that's all. Doesn't matter. Bill Martin took care of it. What did he do? They shouldn't kill people, should they? They shouldn't. They do. Hey, Javelin, I like your new song. Thanks. Will you sing it again for us? Yeah, sing it again. Well, I don't have a guitar, but I... Javelin Scott, you're under arrest. I, I'm not a crook. I have nothing to do with this. Also, I'm going to hold you personally responsible for this disgraceful behavior. This is a school ground. You have no right to be here. Hey. 
Have a little pity for the weaker sex.